I, I'm, I'm curious in that transition because in the modern game, and I think you, the Pep Guardiola at Manchester City said, I'm going to take all these skillful players and I'm going to make them work yeah, as yeah. hard as burning, yeah. right? Uh, that seems to run counter to sort of this, the, this myth, this legend. I mean, your heroes when you were a kid, yeah. I'm assuming were more Riquelme than... Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Especially coming from Andelec, so our respect and our idols were all these kind of flair players <laughs> and everybody else had to work for them, and then but you go to watch them. Do and you then you go, I mean? but this is what I get. Then this guy, then you make the flair player work as hard as your ugly center half. Yeah. How do you do that? How did did you experience that before going to b b b before Pep came to City? No, I never experienced it before him. You know, we I've always been part of squads initially where, and I was you know, <laughs> I always remember Yaya Toure, <laughs> unbelievable player, of course. And, uh, and, and I, I told this story a few times, but you know, we're, we're, we're going, um, I think it's the very first title we win with, uh, with, with City and you know, we've just played United in, I think it's three games before the end of the season. We win that game, puts us level on points and we have two more games left to play and it's, I think, uh, QPR, the last game and Newcastle yeah. away. Newcastle, tough game. And before the game, he pulls me, he said, Vinny, you know, well done. He said, you're heading balls all season and winning duels but today. I take care of it, and I'm like, yeah, you follow me. You're gonna take care. Of it. How do you know? Like, and little did I know, but boom, boom, two goals, right? So that was the nature of the game. You know, you you work for these guys who give you indecisive moments and make the difference. And and, and Kuhn was the one that did against QPR. Mm. Um, but but the difference is probably 20 points between when the team works hard with talent and when the team doesn't with talent. You know, you can still win league titles, but can you win them the year after? Can you win again? And 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 then it becomes difficult to compromise. So for example, you sign Ian Batson to say for for example. Yeah. When you come in you say, listen, you're you're great, you're very talented, yeah, this yeah. is my philosophy, this is what I want you to yeah. play. But I warn you now, if you come here, if you sign for me and for the club, you would have to work super yeah, hard. Yeah, but that's non-negotiable. And, yeah. and the first thing I say, it's, but with me it's a little bit easier because you're in Burnley. Yeah. Like, what do you expect? Right. <laughs> you know, you, you've, you've got to work hard. And, and so that's easier for yeah. me. And, and, and any of the signs around the training gr ground is not about, you know, a player that's making an overhead kick. It's people working hard and mm. people who are... So that's the basics. And then um, the rest of it as well is like, you know, mental flexibility. You've got to be able to play inside as a fullback, outside as a fullback. You've got to be able to overlap, underlap. And, and, and I think that in the future, very few fullbacks, for example, will come out of the academies and be tolerated without this flexibility. Yeah. So it's also, and I'm not saying he could do it before, but he can do it now. Mm. And it's also part of their development. So you also take them with, like you're here to improve and and that's what i want you to be able to do by the time you leave this club and that's what's going to make you better as well for the rest of your career that leads to my next question sorry Kevin, before you go part of what i guess you love doing that job is transmitting your knowledge what you know yeah. what you've learned as a player what you were told by your coaches that you had since kid yeah and i've got one of our friends you know who i'm talking about who's got a message for you here yeah. about about um i guess Transmitting and... Yes, Capi. Hope you're good. We always had the, the question, you know, uh, when, you was, when you were a player, uh, which advice would you have to a young boy who would love to make it as a player? Well, you're not a player anymore. You, uh, <laughs> you're a manager. So I would ask you what kind of advice you would have to a young coach uh, uh, to come. Your best advice that you could give. I'm following you. Good luck, and you're doing great work. Speak to man. So, to yeah. to a coach or to a player, what what's your first first message now? What well, first advice, even to one of your boys, to your assistant? Yeah. To that was Gal cliche. That was Gal cliche. Yeah, yeah. Gale, or to Gal who's, who's nice. hoping to become like you at some yeah, point. Gale will so. be a top coach. No <laughs> yeah, he's got all the tools and. 
But this, the, the, What's the, the most important advice for you? But the, the advice is very similar, is, is make sure the difference between your highs and your lows is, 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 is as small as you can, it can be. And I mean, you know, emotionally as well. So um, one of the things that you have if you want to go to the top, especially as a player, because that I know, and I think as a manager, I'm just on a pathway hoping mm. to, to get better every day. But, but there'll be days where the whole world says you're the best. How's your next training session? Because I know players, when they think they're the best, the next day they don't train the same way anymore, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's when you catch up with them. Um, how's your training session when you're getting dropped by the coach, or when, when you have an injury, or when everybody says you're not good enough? And then if I'm looking at the next day and you're training the hardest on the pitch, and you're there still doing the basics that you did when you had everything to prove, um, then I know you'll 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 you get the most out of your career, mm -hmm. and then the talent you know tells you already in advance if it's a player that can go to the very top or not. But um, the biggest mistake a lot of these young players make, I would say, in general, and 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 that's why, to be honest, you feed off that as well. I mean, you get to the very top because people give up. It's not just yourself. Yeah, you do. You do. So we're all talent. I mean, you go in Kinshasa in the streets and there's so much talent. You go in yeah. Colombia, there's talent there. You know, you can't tell me that they can't, you know, be the man 1v1 and receive a ball in tight space. It's 400 million people playing the game. Mm. So there's more talent than there are places in football. And, and, and talent is overrated and overpriced. Um, but the, the mental aspect of it is, you know, how do you get to the very top is because when you have a bad day and I'm working hard, when you have a good day and you think and I'm keep working, in the beginning we start in a position where you might be ahead of me, but by the end of it, the gap is this big. Yeah. And, and, and that relentlessness and that consistency, um, that's my best advice, I, I live in your bubble. Try not to fluctuate with the hype and the drama too much. Live in your bubble and do what you have to do to get better. And same as a coach, you feel the same as a coach now? Yeah, the same. But, but as a coach, I think you have to even show it more by example. Mm. So, for example, we, I'm just saying myself, but you know, one part of our routine is you know, we build up to the game by giving, giving, giving a game plan for each game, each phase of each game. And then after the game, we have a debrief. And of course, it's a little bit easier because you... you match the pictures against what you asked them to mm. do before the game and then it's quite objective as well this is what we wanted you to do this is what you did and it's quite objective as well if you <laughs> if you're wrong as a coach because <laughs> because you've given the wrong instructions everybody can see it uh, but but it's it's just it's something we do but then the hardest part is can you do it 46 games yeah can you do it um, for a League Cup game like we play yeah, against a League 2 team and, and that's what for me makes a difference and if you do it 46 games and you do it for league cup games and in friendly games you have the same attitude and it's a way of living then you should just feel comfortable that at one point you will see people other people will tap out yeah. and it's just time well thank you very much for watching espn on you too for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the espn app and for live streaming premium content and let's not forget as well espn fc seven days a week subscribe to espn plus